She raised eyebrows earlier this year when she revealed she had stopped sharing a bed with her boyfriend since welcoming their second child And Sam Fayers and Paul Knightley discussed why they are still in separate bedrooms six months after their daughter's birth as well as why he was unimpressed with her proposal joke during a candid interview on Wednesday's edition of This Morning The former Toei star, 27, and her businessman Bo, 29, who have been dating since 2014, welcomed baby Rosie in November and also share son Paul, too Opening up about up about their sleeping situation, Paul said, it's just sleep, while Sam added the couple do still get to spend quality time together She said, everyone gets to sleep in our house. We're all right, we still have our moments. This Friday, it's Paul's 30th. We've got a night off from the children, our first night off in like months. The couple also discussed Sam's hilarious fake proposal during the series finale of The Mummy Diaries last month which saw her go scuba diving in Dubai before swimming up to Paul and their son while holding up a card underwater which read, Will you? The beauty then swiftly held up the second part of the question, which was simply make dinner for me, with Paul later saying he would have declined Sam's proposal Sam said, I thought it would be a little bit of light-hearted fun, because obviously we've got two babies together, and everybody's saying when are you gonna get married? Although humorous on Sam's side, Paul said he had been left unimpressed by his partner's gag He said, we're definitely gonna get married, it's just not at this moment. It was one of Sam's funny jokes, but I didn't find it that funny. I was more happy that she got in the water because she don't like fish. The pair admitted they had been blown away by the success of their IT show, which the series saw Sam's sister Billy, her fiancé Greg Shepard and their children Nellie and Arthur joined the cast. Sam said, the first one was like a one-off, and we kind of thought that was it. They commissioned a series and another one and we didn't know it was be as big as it now. She added they were already in talks for another series. Paul said the decision to invite the cameras into their private lives was something he had mauled over, saying, when we first did the baby diaries we spoke about it, and Sam said to me, it's a good opportunity, let's do it, more than anything I did it for her, I wanted to be behind her to do it. It was hard for me as well I'm a private person and going to do all them things on camera. Sam added, it's taken time to adjust to it. Paul's a shy person and the last series you've really come into your own. For us it's kind of a win-win in a way, we get to work, then we get to spend all our time with our children as well. We do have our moments as a family, it's not every single day, it works for us. As the parents of two young children, the pair also spoke about having their children's tantrums play out on screen. Sam said, at Paul's age now, it's like their way or the highway, some days they have really fun days, and other days they think they don't want to do it. Paul added, I don't take any notice of any of that kind of stuff, he didn't say beforehand, because he's at the age where he's getting frustrated, because he can't say it. Sam said, sometimes people like the realness of it, people can see themselves in that situation. We got a lot of love, because people said we showed what it was really like. Paul also spoke about the scene from the first series of The Mummy Diaries which saw him kiss his mother Gaynor on the lips, leading to an uproar on social media. 
brushing it off he said, people made such a big deal out of the dot I'm really close with my mom, it's something I've always continued to do, I even kiss my son and daughter on the lips